Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Six women in search of healing. The journey changed them forever. Watch as they emerge from the shadow of sexual abuse to walk in the wildflowers, a real life 10 DVD documentary series. Listen to their story. When I was four, she left me with a friend of hers. And I remember I was wearing my favorite yellow sweater and he called me downstairs and he raped me on the sofa journey into their heart. I was n never allowed to, to tell anyone, and, and he told me that um, if I told anyone that um, he would kill me. And you just lay there, and you cry at night to yourself because you were told not to cry. The shame is released. I was always told that it was my fault that I shouldn't have done that, that I that I should have stepped back or said, you're making me uncomfortable, but please back away. I, I couldn't do anything, I just froze. Letting go of anger, walking in freedom. With the dynamics of shame, because shame is such an excruciating pain that tends to destroy our very sense of being, we'll try to move away from that pain with anger. Cultivating forgiveness. I asked Jesus, please show me how to do this. Help me to forgive myself. I can only speak these words because I have no oomph behind them. <laughs> Healing father wounds. In a dysfunctional type of parenting that goes on, we can take in all sorts of lies into the core of who we are that um, uh, if not exposed can continue to wreak havoc in our lives and in our relationships. Treating mother wounds. So when the abuse starts to happen, even if it's outside of the home, or particularly if it's in the home and with the father, they think the mother knows what's going on. So the question in their mind is, once again, why is not mom protecting me? Where is she? discovering their identity. It is restoration of our hearts and of our identity that, that, that we separate from all of that and say that is not who you are, that, that you are a new woman now in Christ. You are a new creature now. You have a new identity. The beauty of feminine strength. As you start to journey through it, there is an immeasurable and incredible amount of pain. But um, I, do, I do believe that um, those are just the refining fires of taking a diamond in the rough and creating it into something immeasurably beautiful. God's healing and sharing the experience. It doesn't hurt anymore. Like down you know, in my gut, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt the first time since I can remember. When they're done with the work, they leave with hope for the future. And part of what they have is the sense that God has not only done a healing work, but he's gifted and called them to move into the lives of other people with what they've learned. If God is to be revealed, then, then I need to know who I am in Christ. And, and then to reflect that glory back to the world so that they can see my part of the reflection of God. I want to see women restored. I want to see their hearts healed. I want to see them set free. And I believe that this series will do it. I believe it will help you to find that restoration that you've been seeking. I think it will help you offer that restoration to the women that you love. In the Wildflowers, real life and real help from leading sexual abuse counselors. In the Wildflowers, Healing the Sexually Wounded Woman, a must-have for your counseling program, a powerful tool for individual or small group study. Emerge from the shadow of sexual abuse to walk in the wildflowers.
produced by Restoring the Heart Ministries.